Hi, this is uh, just a very short video I'm going to add on to the uh, playlist on inverse functions. So the question is, it says that the functions of f and g are such that the function of x equals 3, x minus 4, and g of x equals x over 5 plus 1. Okay, and the first part of it is that find the value of the function of 10. Well, basically what we mean by that is take that value of 10 and where you see the x, put it into there. Okay, so what we end up with is just simply the function of 10 is going to equal 3 times 10 minus 4. So all we're doing is taking this value of x and making it 10. Okay, And then if we solve that, we always work within the brackets first. So 10 minus 4 is going to be 6. So you've got 3 times 6, and that's going to be 18. So the function of 10 is going to be a value of 18. Okay, the second part of the question is uh, g to the minus 1 of x. Okay, so this is a particular technique that you need to kind of get used to doing, where what we do is we actually say, well, if we've got g of x equal to x over 5 plus 1. Okay, the easiest way of doing that is actually just to pretend for the moment that this g of x is y, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make x the subject of this particular formula. Okay, so the way I need to do that is I need to manipulate this equation in order to get x on its own and everything else on the other side of the equal sign. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Well, the first problem I've got is this 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 5. Now, if I do that, what it means is, is I can lose this. But don't forget that I'm actually multiplying the whole lot, both terms. So on the right hand side I'm going to get x because x over 5 times 5 is just going to be x on its own. But don't forget I've also got to multiply this plus 1 so that's going to become x plus 5 on the right hand side. On the left hand side I'm going to get 5 y. Okay. Now remember what I said before is I need to be able to get x on its own. So I've got this plus 5. I'm going to get that plus 5 over to the left hand side by simply minusing 5. Okay. So if I minus 5 on this side these two cancel themselves out and I end up with x on its own which is exactly what I want. On the left hand side however I end up with 5y minus 5. Okay, now actually that's pretty much answered my question because all I do then, and the technique is, is I just swap everything back again. So rather than having this x here, I'm going to change that to g to the minus 1 of x, okay, and rather, rather than having this y here, I'm going to make that 5 x minus 5, and actually that's the answer to the question. Now the difficulty I think with this one is because you're isolating your x on the right hand side, it just looks a little bit odd, okay, because we're so used to dealing with uh, working from left to right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my full answer as g to the minus 1 x equals 5x minus 5, and that would be the answer to my question. Okay, I hope that's okay for you. I hope it's been useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure. Um, have a look at some of the other videos in the playlist, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.